a mummified dinosaur that could change a lot about what we know about prehistoric creatures. Tyler Lyson was only 19, uh, 17 when he stumbled upon the dinosaur he named Dakota on his farm out in North Dakota. Good morning to you. Good morning. What's extraordinary about this is it's a whole dinosaur. There's skin and bones. Right. This is a jackpot. Exactly. Most of the time, you know, as vertebrate paleontologists, we just have the dinosaur bones to go from. But with this dinosaur, we right. have you know, a complete three-dimensional skin envelope around the bones. How did, how did, did nature do this? Nature, nature did do this. this. We're currently working out the process of uh, mummification in dinosaurs, but we do know that the dinosaur had to be buried, you know, very, very rapidly, it's, and it had to be buried in just the right uh, geochemical environment in order for this thing to be petrified the way that it did. So you've got skin, mummified skin, and bones and joints and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Any DNA? Uh, there is no DNA, uh, unfortunately. I mean, not with current technology, and I would be, in my opinion, I'd be very surprised if we were, were ever able to pull out DNA. So, sorry, but uh, no cloning dinosaurs. Puts, not yet. And put simply, what happened that enabled, for the first time that we know, for the, the skin to be preserved like this? Well, you this is buried right away, but how? It was buried very rapidly in a flash flood. And what's very interesting, there, very interesting, there was a crocodile that got kind of mixed up with with this dinosaur. So we have a uh, so they may be uh, fucked uh, away at the end. Well, there's m most likely the crocodile was scavenging on this dinosaur, oh. on this Amazing. mummified dinosaur. But this is a, one of only six mummified dinosaurs that has, that have, has ever been you know, found. I think Tyler's kind of smart. He's getting his PhD at Yale no, in I paleontology. Know.